Hello. Hi, Jason. How are you? Good, thank you. Hi, Mel. How are you? Good, thanks. Good. I saw your video and you just come back from your holiday. Are you? Yeah, I'm at home again. Oh, it's so good. I've got my office back. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I saw. Well, how's the holiday? I mean, how, how long have you been away, by the way? I think you've been away, I mean. Nine months. Nine months. Wow. Yeah. Where did you travel to? Like, you, I saw you travel. Have you, tra you travel to Queensland for sure? Yeah, well, we didn't go far. So, say this is Australia. Yeah. It's my passport, actually. But yeah. And yeah, basically, we traveled that much. So we did southern Queensland and okay. south coast of New South Wales. <laughs> yeah, but but you travel with a caravan, yeah. So you you got a caravan to drive, so you don't, you know, yeah. So you got to, you know, go so a small town and uh, different city, yeah. Yeah, we didn't do a lot of exploring or touring yeah. or adventuring in the end because of COVID, but it didn't matter. Like we reconnected yeah. and had some really good times. And what is what is the most interesting thing you have? You know, you have you know. I think you got a chance to to see it when you're traveling. Yeah, well, a lot of the towns are very similar in the way that they're designed. So yeah. I you want to learn how they designed these towns, like historically, because they're all pretty much the same. And then it makes me wonder how. The world is created as well like it's all and all must be mm. very much the same like where the schools go and yeah and the police station and then yeah it's all very similar a lot of the time and i'm fascinated with the water like how does the water mm. run out where does it flow what are people doing for water preservation that was interesting yeah um, that is a, that is really interesting to see yeah yeah, yeah. okay great oh uh, by the way and uh, have you got a chance to uh you know, answer a question inside the webinar. I mean, the perfect webinar visitor. Yeah, so yeah. I, I sat down and it took like quite a few hours one day last week and I, I started again from scratch. Mm. There is some of it that I, I, I want to stay away from, some negative stuff that yeah. I can't even remember. Once I read over it, um, it'll come to mind. Like, I think I want to try to stay positive more and I'm not talking about all my pains of real mm. estate. like. I know at the moment I've been really focusing on like why you know agents yeah. should protect their database or mm. then um I, I felt like it's negative energy. So I want to try and stay a bit positive, like I don't want to end up with cancer or anything. So I want to relook at that. Okay. Okay, so we can we can relook at right now. So if you can uh open your perfect webinar visa, I mean the uh the one and then we can look at together to say what do you need to uh, yeah, all right, just um, bear with me while I open it up. Okay, so I have it here. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Do you want me to share the screen? Yeah, I could. Okay, I give you the uh, already give you permission to share screen. Now you can share screen right now. Okay, all right. So I'm sorry, I know I said I would have this perfected yeah. and ready to present, but um, okay, would you like me to read it? Uh, I uh, read it? No, I can read it. And uh, so basically, uh, said, uh, okay, so this is your, uh, the first story, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, the first story, just uh, let you know, the first story is to, um, Okay, the goal of the first story is to sell your warfare. I mean, that's just a purely goal. Have you have you worked out your warfare, what your warfare is about it? Uh, I, yeah, only draft though, but I've got a good idea and most of it's your teachings, what you've incorporated, like work that we did many months ago. Like, yeah, um, uh, you, you are yeah. going to, you are, you are going to, okay, so once you finish the whole presentation, you are going to have a really clear warfare because uh, uh, I, I, the reason why I, 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 you know, I give the software is because, uh, sure, I can give the formula in a, but the formula doesn't mean anything because if you don't have the software, it's very hard for you to come up with a woofer with a presentation. Okay, so you gotta let's let's use the story first. Then you can you can find out your woofer will you know will be great when you have time. Now when you finish the presentation, because the presentation and the woofer will be great. You, you with the software, but um, okay, let's read it. And it was a young 
girl who lived in my house. I was out of home 14, trying to fit in society, try to know life, financially independent. I felt, yeah, so that's a backstory and your desire, live a normal life. Your struggle day to day more than living from where I didn't uh, use and uh, having to learn from mostly from this part is important the external struggle and the bottom part because I found I was talking yeah. about me a lot where I really wanted to turn it back on to them and my main message is that I really want to highlight how important having a home is because mm -hmm. of all those why the energy in our home or our office like where we work and that's the main thing I want to um yeah and I think I only had this one little chance to put that in about why it's so important especially after now living in a caravan I know now that people need their right home more than ever <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah so that is one of my main messages that I just want to keep drilling in over and over and over again Okay, so th this this is good because external struggle. So you mentioned about it, you know your desire, you know your struggle of you know having a home. So by the way, your story is going to. I just let you know when the people, you know, you just have to be authentic, you just have to be true because um, your story is going to connect with the people. When someone, let's say, watch a webinar, you're going to. You you want uh, just let you know. The best way to find, you know, who your target audience is, is just share your story. When you share your story, and uh, some people, they're going to feel connect with you. Uh, not everyone. And uh, so when the people feel connect with you, and uh, they like you, then they are going to, they are going to trust you. Then they are going to, you know, spend a bit more time, um, you know, learning about your offer, learning about this one. I mean, I'm sure you know about it as well. This is, you know, real estate basically is like a personal, it's like a relationship building. That's what about it, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, not only in real estate, I guess in business in general as well. You know, it basically is that you get to know any, like a professional, like lawyer, well, first one, you need to know the person, like uh, see who the person is and trust him. Then you find out, okay, what, what kind of warfare is that for you? I mean, but it, that's why the story is good. Okay, internal struggle. To make things worse, I feel terrible because my husband working very hard. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The pattern it will for a job, I'll do a hooker. What about you? Okay, your epiphany is uh, okay, so you to be there as they went, so divorce. So my epiphany is basically getting back into real estate after my struggle of leaving last time. And then yeah. the opportunity came and I realized that I loved real estate so much because I learned that it's about helping other people. Like I it was I loved real estate. That was my epiphany. Unfortunately the LJ Hooker thing didn't work out, but I was back in real estate and that's I don't know if that's a true epiphany, but anyway, it fits into the the it fits in. I don't know. What do you think? Well, that, that is as long as you hide the epiphany and uh, uh, you know so as long as you hide up you may not re remember because it could be many many years ago but as long as it is was a epiphany it is great yeah that'll, that'll be fine well your epiphany doesn't have your life changing you know it doesn't have to be you know just you know some epiphany just a hard moment or Okay, I tell you the reason why a person, a person, when you had this a person, 
this is going to help their uh, this is going to help their prospect vendor shift their uh, perception about uh, their limiting belief. And so let me read a passage first. So you learn about the industries. I discovered uh, was the flow traditional sycamore the franchising. Okay, you know, central real estate agent really work because then. Uh, and they should then uh, support in their real estate agent by the field. Too. Okay, this uh, person is good because you, you mentioned about it. You, this one you educated them about the world, especially the belief. So you need to be, you know, careful on select the right agent because they, you know it. And both of the prospect vendor, you will homeowner, they don't know. They just thought about every agent in the world face will be corny, but you know, every agent in the same world face they compete with each other. And uh, actually, this is the part that I think was one of them that I was saying that I would like to come and tidy up a little bit. Like, yeah. I want I, I wanted to spend a little time on the last bit focusing. Yeah, often result <laughs> homeowner miss out of the highest price for the property because they are two age in the same office and not sharing truthful information or your property because they want you to get information. So um Yeah. So I think I need yeah, I may or may not leave that there because I've got to keep putting it back to the home seller. And yeah. they probably do not give a crap about what happens in the industry. Um so I, yeah, I want to just, I'm going to re, I might leave it. I might not. Um, yeah. Because I think what I was trying to do is from what I'd said before, I'm trying to do too much, too many different ideas where I've got to focus on yeah. one thing where this is, I want the, the listing. Result. I don't even want appraisals. I just want the listing um, where this was kind of branching off and preparing it to recruit new agents or drill into agents. Yeah, so there's two to. different topics, two different issues. This is for home sellers, home sellers alone, and the mm, agents recruiting, or that's a whole different topic. So I may or not, may not leave that. Uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, you do need to fix on home center and maybe tidy up a bit to make sure, by the way, you are passing the ease for home center, say, you know, so, the whole epiphany is like helping the, the clients like and it's true like i can remember ray and nancy at pampola and i i inspired them to sell their house because it was a campaign on you know life is short live your dream the time is now and they were at an end of a phase in their life cycle and that was the whole epiphany is, and what i loved is helping people like that that are really old had health problems but inspired them and helped them to move up the coast to be closer to family. So they're following their dream, their passion, and and yeah. Yeah, I thought I thought that that would be a better person for in this case. In this case, yeah. you mentioned about a, you know, real estate office com compete with each other. Um, Too negative. I don't. Yeah, I've got to say. Is that, is that a bit of Just uh, it's it's um. I cannot say how this is going to relate to the home center. Yeah. Yeah. I, so I guess if you I can... was also trying to stage it with my competition because the two competitors here, um, yeah. I kind of need an angle to come in as well of why I'm better than them. And they are the traditional, they are old school. They won't even let the, the agents have a mobile phone or like there's a, there is problems. That is a true fact. I just don't know if I want to, how much of that I want to go into. <laughs> but I do need to, um, pre-frame it in their mind of why to choose me and not the two competitors that are very old school and really outdated. Okay, so here a person, maybe I want to tidy it back a bit because your person is a, okay, the reason why you have this a person, you want to, this is going to help the vendor shift the position like a, okay i mean I, I just based on what it told me so you can come with this angle you say uh 
because you share about the old couple, you help them, like they retire, you help them move from old to new, then it's gonna help you reposition yourself uh, just from a traditional agent who just help the people sell the property. So you position yourself as an agent who help the people move, let's just basically move to the next stage of their life. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, uh, it doesn't have to be old cup. Of course, you can use old cup as example, but you can mention about uh, if the people wanted to move to a new chapter of their life, what I mean is that, uh, let's say if the people get married, they wanted to, of course, from the people who are single to get married or this is a new stage of the night. Well, for the people who uh, had children, they wanted to upsize and that's a new chapter of the life. Well, for the people who maybe, uh, you know, they got a job promotion, they want to have a bigger, you know, house because they yeah. want to reward themselves. That's a new chapter of the life. So they are one new chapter of the life. It doesn't have to be retired, move to downsize. And so, so if you can position yourself as, a, I don't know what kind of the profession you can call yourself, but it, you can you can position yourself as you are the agent who help the people not just help the people sell the property like a traditional agent does but also you help the people move from the to the next chapter of their life so that will relate to many many potential home center okay that's good we'll focus yeah on that. because uh, uh, because uh, just you know, I guess most of people will relate to it because uh, most of, most of people when they sell the property, and I I I there's one time actually I went to Open Aging. I look at it, they they got a survey. Open Aging. So if you go to Open Aging and then they get to answer a survey. What's the re if you are looking for agents? So what's the reason why you're looking for agents? They give you the reason you can choose, and I found out most of people about six main reason got divorce there's one they got a job loss another one they got the uh retirement one also they got the uh you know what's the they got the kids move into a grow up uh basically kids, kids move out from home then parents want to sell the property move to somewhere else so basically it is a, when the people have something change they have to move their life to the next stage that's time they sell the property I mean, that's yeah. the majority of people. I mean, there are some people who just want to sell property for sale, but it's very rare. Most of people won't sell the property for every, every long time unless something happened, like a change of job or getting married or divorce or kids, you know, grow up or retirement. Yeah. Yeah, good. Right. Okay. So you. It, it, you, may yeah. want it, you may want it to tidy up this epiphany to make sure, okay, you hide the epiphany, which is, uh, okay, you want to position yourself from an agent to help the people move from an old you know, chapter to a new chapter of the life. So by doing this, you can uh, shift the your unique selling point. Basically, you, people is going to think of you, okay, male is a different type of agent. You are not just in the agent help the people need and sell property. For sure, you are doing that, but you are doing way more than that. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, because it sounds look at and um, think about this one. If you if you you have if you uh if you are the vendor and you go to talk to an agent and then every agent do a decent presentation, say so I'm gonna help you sell your property for this price, I'm gonna help you put on a realtor.com. Every agent offer pretty much identical services, but if you go to a decent presentation, you say I help you move to a new chapter of a life. What I mean is uh, include selling your property but also include you know some other additional service or product you can offer or you can um, partner with someone refer them to the vendor just you know so the the prospect of vendor you know can see it the value you offer is way more superior than other age in the offer awesome yeah okay so let's let's keep going or other result you know i knew i was going to do the best for my vendor to achieve the highest price. I could not work for become the independent. And so, uh, yeah, as a result, you may want to change that because of your, uh, uh, yeah, so you, uh, yeah, as a result, you may say, okay, I, you know, I changed my business. Uh, I changed my position or I, 
you know, why I transfer myself from an agent who just helped the people sell property to become an agent who helped the people move to a new chapter in life. You can say that is a result. Thank you. That's great. Yeah, as I did that, I start helping more and more people move to a new chapter. Yeah. So as after I did that, that is great. I understand I was moving people from old to new. And I know you don't like old to new, but I really connect with it. Yeah. Oh, okay. You, you don't, you, you can, you can see, but just, uh, you know, uh, in the, it just it make sure you, it's clear, you know, define people know what old to new is about. So, but in this scenario, it is because you have a story to tell what old to new is about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you just tell, help the people, if you just in a sales pitch, help people move old to new, People will think uh, move to old probably from your probably wasn't. Do you think it explains it though? Moving people from their old to their new, like that's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, but it just in a in, in you know. So basically, you have a context. You need to put it into a. You have a content, but you need to put it in a context. What I mean is, that in this case, it is because you have a story to explain. Okay, the context is move to old chapter of life to a new chapter of life. Yeah, but in but if you if you put a Facebook ad out there and you say okay in your Facebook ad you say uh, uh, you know my name is Mel Nose Mel and I help the people or I help the home center move from old to new. But yeah, if that is um, but it, it's to it, that will be a bit confused because um, that's every there's no any context around the content. So people, what does that mean from old to new? Okay, that's what I mean. But in this case, it. It, it, it works because in this case you do have a story that's yeah. a context so i hope that you know make good yeah uh, you mentioned about uh, your case study uh hunter vanny they are living x stage knife so that's when i realized fitting the cell to need a more knife so i could uh, have a happy knife the prime i plan is to connect with people to properly you know customize it to save me yeah okay so your plan that is explain your offer so basically your plan explain how you come out that unique offer yeah oh. so i start you know offer referral conjunction join to that means we could together all right so i think if i'm you going to talk about my unique offer here then i need to yeah start to bring in actual offer like that i'm giving the three moving boxes um no no you, you don't you don't have to this one basically just 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 explain the how did you come out with a offer but you are going to explain your offer in later oh yeah yeah okay. yeah yeah so now this is basically just a story just like a a prana seed so they do know oh this is how male come out of offer okay yeah. good so i can leave that yeah. let's leave that Sorry. leave that so the conflict okay scroll down to the conflict it was a uh, lonely, not only me around my own business, but it's a hard everywhere. Send on my own support after months of fame or achievement. We know they're frustrated. We I decide to join XP and I mean it's fine called the Mel Rosa Home Center. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you can even call it, but I, I choose Mel Rosa, the real estate connector with the XP when sending you home. Well, I, I, you, can, you can make it be a short because it's a bit long. This yeah, I think I'm trying to um, uh, generalize it when I'm focusing more on me. I, I have had an yeah, epiphany you, in the last 48 hours. Yeah, but, you can um, you can just, you can, because uh, this, uh, you, the call basically is the name of the woofer. It is what's the name you want to call it as a woofer. So you right. make, make it sure because, uh, you know, choose Mel Rosa. Sure, you can put your name here, like a Mel Rosa, a real estate connector with EXP uh, when sending your house. So you can uh, make it short. What should I call it, Jason? What do you think? Well, you, you put your name here is a good idea, like a Mel Rosa, because uh, it, it means it's your unique woofer. Then you can call something called home center system or home center uh, strategy. Depends on the way you like it, but if you have your name here, it's great because uh, you can, this is your offer, but then you can, if you wanted to relate to it, it could be Mel Rosa. Well, you could be, you could have your last name like a Roseman home center system. Yeah, something. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Could I even bring it back to the um, moving people from their old to their new or starting next? No, time? you don't have to. You can just say you can just have your name because this is just a name of the author. It doesn't yeah. uh, make sure people remember it. So. What yeah. about like just Mel Rosamond, the real estate connector? Yeah, yeah, that is a that is a short, and people can remember as well. It's great as well. Okay, that's it. That's yeah. My, yeah. Yeah, make it, make it, just make it a bit short, and then people, so people can remember. You know, so your waffer. This is the name of your waffer. Later, yeah. I wanted to in your decent presentation where you say, okay, this is my waffer, but does it have a name? Must have a name. Otherwise, people say, what what's the name of your waffer? Yeah. We thought it could have created something. Make. Yeah, I'll come up with it. I'll make it. All right. You were sitting home. Okay, transformation after created a I only able to I don't want to worry about it, you know, traditional. Okay, so uh, transformation is uh, yeah, it is great. And so you you mentioned about you know what are you you know what are you have been become. So basically, it's transformation. Basically, it is your identity shift. So you shift from traditional real estate agent to become a real estate agent who help the people move from old to new. And so that is a transformation. That is a that is your identity shift. So people will say, you know, who is Mel Rosa? Mel Rosa is a, a real estate agent who helps the people from move from old chapter of life to a new chapter of life. Okay, and so the, the only thing you need, you may need to, you know, spend a bit of time working on is your epiphany. You wanted to make sure your epiphany uh, relate to the home center and uh, how how did you come up with epiphany? So that's, uh, that's the only part you may need to spend a bit of time working on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can put some. You can put some notes, and uh, you know, so work on that. So let's go back to your perfect webinar visa to say uh, where you up to right now. Okay. So My it is a software. The software. No. Yeah. No. Not this software. This software is uh, right. Is a Python bridge story. It is a software on your desktop on your laptop. Yeah, we're down here. Okay. Oh, yeah, you may need to close down your browser. Yeah. Um, how do I find it again? Uh, no, no, you, you, you don't have to download it. I think you downloaded it, installed it in the past. What's it called again? Uh, if you call a perfect webinar visa. Perfect webinar. That's right. Here we go. Got it in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then you open is a is a laptop application software. It's every small software. Oh, okay. It's hmm, how do I you can't see this screen. Let me just um bring up this other screen. Okay. And I haven't learned how to do this yet, like how to um share my screen without stop the only way I know is to stop the share and then start the share again. Can okay, you, you, you have to share like with a share your window. So when you share you share browser, that's why you only can share you have to close down, but you can if you share window. Then oh. you, yeah, but let's go. Okay, and um, did you save it last time, or you didn't save? Uh, I thought I saved. I thought I would. So if you go to the open, if you click the open button, open the yellow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, oh. you did save. Yeah, so just click that one, open it. Yeah, you saved already. Right. So so uh, Lex, you let's see which question you up to right now. Well, yeah, I'm sorry. Huh? For... This one I didn't do. Sorry. That's, that's all right. That's all right. Let's, let's yeah. work together. It's going to be all so, done. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, because now you got an idea, you can go back and change the title of the webinar. So what is the webinar title we're going to be? Uh, now your name, you don't have to change your name. Your name is just your name, Mayor Rosa. You, but a question too, because your, because your webinar is... Uh, uh, I heard it tell you how that's spending a lot of money. Um, moving yeah. you from your old to your new or moving 
you to your next chapter, something like that. Uh, how to move them? Oh. Okay, the the goal. Uh, yeah. The, okay. If if the like a prospect vendor home center come to you, come to your webinar, and the reason why they want to come to your webinar is because they wanted to. Yeah, they wanted to move to a new chapter of their life. So they wanted to know how you can help them. Yeah, so that would be that would be the new title. You can you ha yeah you can put it on your webinar. I think people will understand that if I keep saying it and saying it, they're going to get it. Everyone in my town's going to know it. Everyone online. Okay, sure. Okay, so test it. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, so test it because if you do have a story to tell them what it's about, so they will understand it. Yeah. Um, Can I tell you why? So then you'll understand. See, at the end, the word new, well, that's a part of the life cycle compass with the news to neutralize, yeah. energize, multiply, systemize. So it's all coming Moving together. Forward, you know. People might not get it now, but when they realize, when I launch Lifecycle Compass and incorporate even that into real estate, and I also have old bar news, like N-E-W-S, so it'll all come together and they're like, oh, that's why she called it old bar news. Or yeah, so let's just, uh, let's just, you may put a how to, you know, everyone know how to, so you put a how to move from your old to your, I mean, later on, you try the webinar title to see if, if that works. If it does not, then you may, uh, you may have to change the is head and nine. So, all right, you think this is not going to get results? So oh no, I mean, I so I I, I mean, I just guess because for, I, I mean, it doesn't matter how good a, a marker is. So the only way to know if that work is a test. You know, you can. Yeah. Well, you can find a Russell Brunson, you know, he can, you know, give you the head and nine, but it doesn't no one guarantee that it's going to work unless you test it. You know, he has done a lot of testing as well. He can build a funnel for you, but it doesn't guarantee it's going to work unless you test it. So I cannot guarantee unless you put it out, out there and do a test. Okay, okay then, so do a test, then you get a feedback. People say, okay, what's old than you? Then you say, oh, that may confuse, and then you may tweak it a bit. Okay. Yeah, so, okay, how I'm saying in old bar and the point, and so my target audience. Uh, so this is a problem here. I'm not just one area with all 1,600 homes. Um, yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to uh, talk to people in the geographic. And this time you can say home center who want it or move and your chapter of their life. Okay. Yeah, because that's related to everyone. People wanting to all move and your chapter of life. Yes. Yeah. That, so everyone, it doesn't matter where they live, but if they think about moving your chapter of the life, they are going to say, oh, that's that's me. That's, I'm in a target audience. Okay, thank you, that's awesome. Do I need a full stop or I just move forward? What What do you mean? Do I need a, can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Yeah, do I put full stops on these? No, the you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to. Yeah. And just next, so, uh, home owner, my target audience. So you can just say home home owner who want to move to a new job and life. You know, could be your target audience. Okay, you don't have to print your uh, full stop because it's a full sentence. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Poetry format. Nope. Uh, help people yeah so that's basically it is a new opportunity and so uh next question okay. uh, marosa home center system yeah you can just call that right now uh next uh your background related to your story so yeah i don't have my, anything fancy I can, yeah that's I can all right i mean that's all right just, just put it that uh you mean most of people and most of people it just let you know in my in my experience i mean i work with real estate most of people don't really care about if you got a a real estate license or not i mean of course they do but i don't know i mean when you sell property does anyone ask you do you have a license or not i know you, that's standard it's just because like i don't have any other awards or i haven't got any yeah uh, i mean well, just in my experience, uh, really talk to the vendor or talk to the, I do, you know, I, I don't think that they care about your, 
like you are in, in the real estate. I mean, pretty much in some other profession they do, like in in tax accountant, they do care about if you are CPA or not. Uh, I guess most people are CPA. In legal or if you are GP, they do care about it. You do must have a degree. But in real estate, I'm just found real estate is a more, what, what should I say, you know? Well, I mean, that's why real estate is, the industry has a really bad reputation because the regulation is not as strict as other profession. Doesn't make sense. Yeah. Yeah, but but you know it is good enough because most of most of the you know most of the uh, they don't uh, they don't but your story and your offer is uh, you know I think it is a uh, it is the best because uh, they are going to you know your story and your offer I think that's the best setting point. Can I change it to collaborating with over 38,000 agents globally? Yeah, you can just 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 put it here, and uh, then you may once you put it there, and then you run the webinar, and you do a presentation, then you get some feedback and say, okay. The only way to know if if everything you put here works is to run the webinar, you know, get a feedback as well. So let's yeah. to next and to say, uh, okay, your story. So basically, the story is you don't have to you know copy and paste the whole story. What I mean is that. Uh, you just put some bullet points. So, okay, you want to talk to here. And so you may want to do it later on, not doing right now, but I, this is basically going to tell you how you can to use the section you put, put it here. Then, so you know your story. So you don't have to, you don't have to memorize the script. You, what I mean is that you can just uh, use a bullet points and uh, then tell your story. And so your bullet points will be on a PBT. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, move to next. And how does your personal story apply to you? So this is how, this is you mean answer. So your story, you mentioned about it. Okay, how will the people move to a new chapter life? So this one, you can see how they can apply to them. How does your, here's how uh, my story. How does your personal story? Here's my story background. So how do I write it? Here's how my story background applies to your situation. Well, can I take them back to, remember how I told you the main message is, is I wanted to let them know why their home is so important. Yeah. So I bring them back to that part, like your environment is vital for your quality of life. So, and then I go into all the reasons of why your home is important, like, because this is where you spend time with your family, so you need good energy. And this is where you work in your home office, so you need good energy. This is where you cook meals that fuel your body. And if you're not in a great kitchen with good energy, well, that love is not going into the food that you eat, which is going into your body, which affects your day-to-day -day life. Okay. So, I mean, but uh, you are talking to people who want to sell the property, yeah? Well, no, I'm still persuading them. Like I, some people might not have decided, like I still might be going through that initial phase of getting them to sell. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. there's the two steps, like, I really just want the ones that are selling already, but I might still miss out. Like I still need to target those that are, I still need to target those that haven't decided to sell yet and get them to convert or move or change their mind or think about selling. So yeah. I okay. So it. that means that, okay. You mean that the, the properties that are, needing, they are not a, really good for the health, for the energy, then they must be thinking about, you know, move to a new area or new property or new home. That is a that is a good for them, yeah. Yes, so I'll come back and work on that, but I'll make a note here to trigger my memory of what I'm. Yeah, doing. okay. So make a note here and trigger your memory. So you can put it down. So if that is the case, it is because uh, most people are not thinking about selling. But if you explain, okay, the benefit of uh, moving to a property is good for your health, for your energy, for your family, and for your kids, and yeah, yeah, it definitely helps them. Like they, they may, they may, and at every early stage of thinking about selling, but it's to help them. Uh, I think give them be a push. So yeah, that definitely. Yeah. It, it, and it, one it other thing, really nice. the yeah? problem that happened in the past is my letterbox drop or my marketing campaign. I in this town, I did persuade many people by this same message of why it's important. But unfortunately, they still chose another agent because a lot of them are loyal, or I wasn't the one, or I didn't have the confidence. So this time round, I'm, I'm, I've got it. Yeah, I'll be able to get them, convert them, plus win the listing this time round for most of them. 
they, and this is what I'm finding with yeah. EXT. The problem with the EXT is they are persuading agents to move. I've known a lot of agents or come across quite a few agents yeah. that have now moved because they know the traditional office doesn't work, but they didn't choose EXT. So they're, they're still doing only half as well. Mm. So, yeah, this is an important thing for me. Okay. So let's just write down. Let's move, move some of the questions that you got an idea about it. You know? Okay. Just put it on a note because you may take a time to think about it. You know? Yeah. Please approve a case study example you have shown that it worked for. Then, so you mentioned about you help an older couple move from retirement to a new chapter of life. You can use that as a case study and proof. Okay. Yeah. Well, do you have some photo, some picture like helping sell the home? You do you have some photo and a picture? Uh, I'll be able to. Uh, yeah, go back through and maybe have. Yeah, you may be. You may want to get a testimonial here because. Uh, I've got testimonials. I just. Don't oh, you got testimonial. Good. Yeah, I might not have the photos, but I can still chase it, it up. And you it is that. a it is a written testimonial or is a video testimonial? What kind of testimonial? Uh, unfortunately, only written, but uh, I may written. be able to. I may be able to get video testimonials. That's okay. Yeah, get a video, video testimonial is the best because the people are not wanting to see. If you get, a, get if you can just ask an older couple, maybe use the phone and shoot a video, and then maybe how does they send a video to you? I mean, I'm, I, maybe is that not good take another? Maybe they can you know send a video to a Facebook, and then you can download video from Facebook. Yeah, I'll work on that. I'll match the story <laughs> up with who it was to the video and the testimonial. That's okay. Okay, so th this one is basically a testimonial. It's a case study proof. Then move to next. Okay, let me just. And uh, yeah, so move to the next one. What is a bigger payoff your audience want in the area? So they really wanted to know how to, uh, for them, so how to move to a new chapter of their life is something they want, really want to know. Okay. Yeah, okay. So what is the second payoff if you, they want? So let's say when this, okay, they want, of sure, they want to move to a new chapter of the life. You can help them. But when they sell the property, what else they want? What else? When they work with you, what else they want? Uh, you have well, to think about the, the older couple, like you help their people. What what else? Like during the process of uh, helping them move to a new chapter of life, what else they want? Uh, easy transition or easy process. Yeah. So that's, like that's, that, that, that's, it. that's what they want. Sure. Yeah. Put it here. Easy process. Um, a good, well, obviously before that, a good price. I'll end on the good price. Yeah. Yeah. They want an easy process, good price. Um, do we go on to go in all the technical theory stuff that just bought uh, yeah. the pieces or? It, it doesn't have to be go every technical. What I mean is just a mention about the benefit. You know, what do they really want to know how to, uh, let's say I, I give you, I give you, I, I mean, I give you an idea about it. You know, more, when the people sell, sell the property, you know, do they, do you think they want to know how to make sure the property looks good before putting on the market? Yeah, staging uh, tips, moving tips. Yeah, moving tips because most of people, I mean, most people may sell one once or twice for the entire life. So they have no clue about, you know, how they're going to sell it. That is why they hire aging. If they know everything, they know how to do everything. They won't be need an aging anymore because aging is going to tell them, you should decorate your property, you should clean your garden, you should, you know, most people never clean the garden. Well, they know the norm for sure, but, it, you know, but it's, it's, most people I know, they don't really have a clue you know, how to make sure the property looks good to stand out. So real estate agent's job actually is educated them about that. Okay. Okay, I can expand on that. Yeah, okay. Uh, you, you can, you can, you know, you can tell a bit more and but you can just mention about it right now and uh, uh, next, go to next. And uh, so what, who is the enemy in the area? So. Okay, I wanted to explain a bit, it's a bit more. So you wanted to separate yourself from traditional real estate aging, I have to say, and say, who is the enemy in this world? So 
the people who wanted to move to India chopped off the knife. But what stopped them? You know, what kind of the that stopped them from moving to India chopped off the knife? That is enemy. Okay. Um. So time. Um. Like. They want to wait. They think the market's going to change, or they're not ready, or they think the price is going to um, not be right. And if they have to move, so I have to bring them into that. If not now, then when? If not you, then who? yeah. So, so who is enemy? And this is the case. It could be, you know, could be their mindset. You know, could be their limiting belief, or you could you could just mention about who is themselves. Basically, is their you know their mindset or their attitude. Okay. Yeah, because that that is a that is enemy stop them from moving to a new chapter. Now, basically, if they decide they want to move to a new chapter, now for sure they can do it. But it, most of the time, it is a mindset. I have the same. So how do I write it? Like, what's the first letter? Does it start with a capital? Can you remind me? Uh, like just say, or you can say, uh, who is enemy in this area? You can say, uh, it is your like a your older self or your it is your your mindset or your limiting belief. Limiting belief. Yeah, limiting belief would be the clearest one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Who is it? So, what is the number one pain or problem that they want to avoid? So, when they, okay, when they wanted to move to a new chapter of their life, that's what you try and help them to do. Uh, but it, what's the reason why? Okay, I mean, I've done something called NLP. I'm not sure you heard about it. Tony Robbins used that a lot. The yeah. reason why? The reason why everyone wanted to. You know, they wanted something, uh, you know, they, if they ask everyone, you know, they wanted, you know, money, they wanted health, they wanted wealth, they wanted to, everyone wanted that for sure, because that makes them happy. And that is a pleasure. But the reason why they don't do that is because one of the reason, I mean, there are some other reasons, but one of the main reasons is because in they, they have limiting belief. They believe if they, as I give an example about it, uh, just use a property as example. And uh, a lot of people, you know, know they can build wealth by investing in property, yeah? Yes, that's right. But if you ask, if you just, uh, uh, I, I mean, I know a lot of people in the property investment game. That's what I know. And I know a lot of people, you know, they have money, they have way more money like 10 years, 20 years ago. They can, you know, pay their deposit and buy the investment property, but keep waiting, keep waiting. Some people waiting for decades still have buy property. But the people who, you know, who don't have that, who didn't have that money 10 or 20 years ago, they borrow money from family, friends, and they bought a property. Now they, you know, they made a good money. So the reason why the people, you know, like that is because the, the pain of, you know, losing money, they sort of like a pre market, if the market drop, so one of the reasons why you have to figure out the pain, what's the pain and stop them from moving to a new chapter in life. So it's very similar to the last one, isn't it? It's like their mindset. Yeah, so yeah, mindset, but it'd be more specific. So when I say- How uh, many of these are there gonna be? What is the number one pain? Is there gonna be more on the next? Do I need three or is it only one? I'm coming up with uh, this pain. is the number one pain. They don't understand okay. more pain. And so Good time. Uh, they want to avoid because, okay, let me ask a question because you work with the elderly couple. So if they wanted to move to the new chapter of their life, what stops them? What is, it, what is their limiting belief? Well, I think, can we focus on time or and make that fit in? Like yeah, sure. We can focus on time. They think it's like oh it's now's not the time or i don't have money now or i might do it later yes yeah, so the time, uh, time what is, what is the reason why they want to wait what is the reason why well yeah all of those things that i just said like they there's always something else that they think is in the way or they are prioritizing on something else and then they're missing out on that value in 10 years time or a better life right now 
okay, what is the number one pain or probably don't avoid in the area? And so, okay, they want, let's say they want, I'm sure first, let's say first one, we are pretty sure they wanted to move the new chapter of life. That's the people you want to track, yeah? Yeah. If the people are not moving, they're not moving. It's very hard to, you know. So people are thinking about it, but they are waiting. They say because the time is not right, and why? So, so they really want to avoid taking action now. Okay, they really want to avoid. Uh, I think they really want to avoid uh, making mistakes. Oh, making mistakes. Because. Uh, that is they're waiting about the same property because they, they may think about okay they can sell a higher price later on or they can um yeah they really want to avoid making mistake uh you know selling property all right can i make it making more mistakes so it's a triple m thing okay making mistake is a bit of vague but i tell you i am i if i tell you i like it triple m making more mistakes yeah, making more mistakes could be, uh, yeah, it could be, you know, could be this is that the one. But I think the deeper the reason, let me tell the deeper the reason why. I think the deeper the reason why is a fear, F E A R, you know, fear. Yeah. They really yeah. want to avoid to, uh, I think they really want to avoid of, uh, yeah, making mistakes and that causing, Maybe costing money, costing time, and costing something. That's yeah. That is the reason why they are not moving to a new chapter in life. Okay, I'll come. I'll, I'll okay, put, put it here. Put it here, and uh, then let's go to the next one. Okay, number two pain. So based on this one, the pain is being less. But it was a number two pain. Number one pain is making uh, mistakes and. Uh, you could be more specific. Let's say, number one, you can be say making mistake to sell the property at the wrong time. Oh yes. Yeah, if you go back. Yeah. Yeah, making mistakes and uh, yeah, to sell property at the wrong time. Most people, most people always have tried to find the right time, but I, I'm sure you know. I'm sure I know. You know. There's really, there's no best time to do anything. If you wanted to get married, you know, really, yeah, you can wait for the rest of life. Well, if you wanted to like start a business, if you want to be, if you wanted to work by yourself, really there's no best time. There's no one can predict, you know, what's going to happen. Like no one, everyone is planning. The 2020, you know, is going to be amazing years. They got a plan, but a COVID-19 coming, you know, most of plan just being distracted. Yeah, but but the majority of people, majority of people, that's why majority of people are not successful. The reason why is because uh, this have a lot to do with the mindset. With the uh, successful people, if you ask people like Richard Branson, you know, if you Richard Branson has something, he said, if you give him an opportunity, he will take it. Maybe he doesn't have the money, he doesn't have the time, but he will figure out, you know, how to get the money, how to get the time later on. Most of the successful people, they got different mindset. Right. Okay. Yeah, but but you but I, I guess most of people you work with they are not a rich or blind. So they don't have that kind of mind. <laughs> I, have to, I have to say, ninety nine percent of people in your local area, not in not in regional area, even in metro area as well, they don't have that mindset. They they always have a ton, you know, money issue. But definitely, you are talking to their fear. That is right. Then move to pen number two. Number two pen. So can we use time? Uh, the number two pain is that they really want to avoid, uh, you know, making more mistakes for sure. They wanted to avoid making mistakes. Oh, but uh, in maybe first one, you mentioned about time, but the second one. No, no, no. Before we mentioned, we haven't mentioned time. We well, mentioned about time. Yeah. First, like, who was the enemy, the limiting beliefs? I'll come back, polish that. And then what's the number one pain? We said making more mistakes. So, so, at one okay. time, so fear. Yeah. And the second one could be making more mistakes to sell the property at the wrong price. Or, yeah, there could be, you know, that could be one of the fear of selling the property. So, okay, they can sell more money later on, but, it, you know, but it, uh, who knows it's going to sell not the wrong place, I think the wrong price. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's remember that though. Yeah. Yeah, move to 
okay, what is the big how to you want to focus on the webinar? So, uh, okay, how to is that people wanted to know and what is a big how to? Uh, I, okay, I give you an idea about what's, what does it mean? So basically it is uh, uh, the one thing that people wanted to know the most in your webinar. How to move to a new job of life is, is what are you trying to focus on? Yeah. Yeah, that's the biggest how to. So they they they, do, they wanted to move to a new job of life, but they want to know how to how you can help them do that. Okay, question 17. Let's move to the next one. What is the first secret you want to share on the webinar? Okay, so this is uh, your offer. The vehicle is your offer. I just let you know. And uh, the vehicle is your offer. So you wanted to uh, share what is the, of course you do have a story, you don't have to write a story anymore, but uh, you can say, I give you, but I, I give you a formula, like how to without, that is the best way. So how to get what they want and without, this is how to move to a new chapter of life and without making more mistakes. That could be a good one. How to move to a new chapter of in your life without making mistakes. Yeah. I'm gonna turn that into something, triple M, making more mistakes. Yeah. Okay, out. what is the existing belief about it? So maybe you know the people they're already thinking about moving to a new chapter of life, but they do have an existing belief. You have to, I don't understand how this will help me. Um, move to a new chapter of the knife. I don't understand how it will help me. If you can write down what I said, I think that will make sense. Uh, yeah. Sorry, what do I write in here? I don't understand how. How, how it will help me move to a new chapter of my knife. So basically, how it the vehicle, how you offer. So yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. So then you can explain uh, next how you can break and refine. I mean, the truth is. So what is the truth? Yeah. Uh, is a. Uh, you, you may just have to tell them the truth. So the truth is, you know, and. Uh, uh, you can have it now, but you can have the life and the new house now. You mentioned about the woofer. Basically, the truth is that, yeah, you can move to a new chapter of life with the right aging. You just have to mention about it. Yeah, you can move to with, with the right people who support you and with the right real estate agent who support you. Real estate. Okay, so move to the next one. So this one, you this one just your story, okay. So this one just your personal brief story, but you're gonna use a bunny print, uh, bunny. Oh yes. List. So you just put a note here and a bunny, you know, bunny list of your personal story. So you can so you're gonna tell a story like you put it in a a, a personal brief story and how you uh, go so your you know harmonious and. Uh, how you go so you know your internal desire, external desire, a then uh, transformation, then come up with a woofer. So basically, you explain how you so, and people will answer, oh, that's how male come with woofer, help people move to a new job of life. Okay. Yeah. I'll come back. So now, now, now you can see it makes sense. This word integrated is yeah. So what a proof you can support it based on your case study. Yeah, that's the best one. So, yeah, you help the elderly couple, you just use a testimonial and say, okay, I, I already helped one person down, eh? Yes. Uh, what other limiting beliefs do they need to address? So, um, you know, so when they when they hear about your story, I mean, both and your child, what other limiting beliefs do you think they have got? All right, so I'm going to not focus on them trying to move now. I've got to bring it back to them choosing me rather than the competition, I think is better. Uh, I'm still trying to convert them to sell. No, no, this one limiting belief. This is uh, about the vehicle. As you can see, what other limiting belief do we need to address about the vehicle? So it's still about the warfare. So what other limiting belief they still got about the warfare? Yeah. 
if you think about your your offer, your your sell your selling process or system, or help them go to a new chapter, what 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 do you, you know, maybe, I mean, just give you idea, but you have to to test it. So the only thing, maybe they can think about okay, male is an agent who only can help me sell my property, and how does male can help me go to a new chapter in my life? Yeah. So am I? I mean, am I starting to bring in my offer yet, or that comes later, doesn't it? Yeah, basically, it, it, it is your it is your offer, but it, they may have some others beneath. But it, so far, if you don't if you don't have any, you can just leave empty. But it, I guess they may have some other beneath. Like I say, how does a male help me? You know, move in your chapter in life. You can say okay, because it, if you if you if you think about it. In order for the people to move to a new chapter in life, for sure they need to sell the property. I mean, I mean, I'm sure they can. You can help them, but um, they may also wanted to buy a property. They may also wanted to get a financial planner, or they may also wanted to uh, other product or services. But uh, you don't offer, so you have to address like how you can help them. Yeah. So like that one-stop shop going into yeah, that. Yeah. So. Yeah, you, you you need to explain. Use it, use it, use it. You can tell a story here, but it don't have to be a personal bridge story. You can just mention about it. Okay, here is my solution, and I, uh, I I was a partner with uh, someone else. You know, if I cannot help you, I partner with a lawyer, I partner with a financial planner, I partner with a mortgage broker, and I was a partner with a home buyer agent. And uh, so, so on the journey, because uh, you people, this is okay, people. And if you think about it, you know where they are is uh, they are thinking about moving to a new chapter life, where they want to be. They wanted to be the new chapter life, but during the process, they need a, a number of people who can help them. And real estate agent is one of the people, but they also need some other profession to help them as well. Yeah. Yeah. So that is a uh, how that is a uh, that is a uh, yeah that is have the addresses. Otherwise, they won't believe you. Okay. Okay, finish. Move to next. And uh, what is the second secret? Okay, second secret is that uh, now they believe you. They believe your offer can help them move to a new chapter in life. But the second secret is uh, internal belief. No, you don't have to write down. You don't have to write down. I mean, I'm just making notes so I can remember okay, sure. when I come back. Yeah. Yeah. Now they believe your offer. Now you can write down. Now believe your offer works. Your offer can help them move to a new chapter in life. They believe my offer can help them move to a new chapter. In life. Okay. Yeah, but they but they, but they do you know, but they do have internal belief. So here, uh, secret number two is internal belief. Internal belief is uh, okay. Uh, they believe okay, your offer works for sure. You know, if they just hire you and you can help them with it, but they will have internal belief. What does that mean is uh, uh, they will believe, okay, can, you know, uh, I think this is a word related to the limiting belief. They're gonna have, they're gonna have some struggle. I said, okay, uh, you know, can I, can I really do this? I mean, is the right time or, uh, you know, is the right market because of COVID-19, you don't have to mention about COVID-19, by the way, yeah. Maybe you say, okay, is the right market or, uh, well, maybe they have internal belief is that uh, should I wait for, I you know, depends on the target audience, but I, you have to think about it then. Maybe they are thinking about, okay, should I wait for my kids to grow up then before, you know, I send them my property. So you have to pick one. So what, what do you think that number one internal belief uh, stop them from moving to it? There is their belief. They believe you, you can help them, but they, don't believe themselves. Yeah, I time. It's the wrong time. Now okay, it's wrong the time. time. So so basically they believe it's the wrong time to sell, yeah? Yeah. So how do I write it? What do I start with? They believe. Uh a secret number two, you can okay, if you you definitely if if it, if it's time the issue, time the issue internal belief. Let's say um So, for, so in your, okay, from the people you know, so time is a number one, 
Do you mean in Bini of the Vigada, yeah? Well, to summarise it, they can say time, but then when time gets broken down into all those other, what to what is time? Why are they waiting? So do you want me to focus on one and not keep it general with time, like narrow it down and be specific? Okay, there are two type of uh, there are two type of benef. One is the internal benef. They basically is they don't benef themselves. Is a uh, to sell. Another one is the external benef. You're gonna mention about a secret number three, and basically is a external benef will be external environment. Then so say, look like a ton would be an external things. That's what I'm thinking about it. Uh, internal benef would be. Do they have the, okay, this one you can, uh, time could be, you know, time could be, it could be one, say, sell and run time, you can dress about it, but uh, you can mention about it, do they have the time, you know, to sell the property, to find a new property? If that is a, if that is a belief, hold them back, do they have the time, you know, to sell the property and to find the property? Okay, that's yeah. true. That's yeah, because that, that is what that will be more specific than time. So that is an internal belief. So basically, yeah, people say, okay, definitely, you know, milk is a waffle, is great, can help them do it, but they may be too busy. Most people are busy, yeah. They must be busy with work, maybe busy with family, busy with something else. I don't know what they're busy for. But they could be too busy. Maybe they don't have enough time to sell and find a new one because the sale probably take a long time and find a property take a long time. That's yeah. that's let's stop then. Then move to next. Okay. Okay. What is existing belief about the secret? I'm not. Uh, I'm not a. You know. I'm not ready to sell. Yeah, I'm not ready. Yeah, definitely. I'm not ready to sell. That could be the internal belief. Yeah. I'm not ready to sell. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Next, how will you break down? This doesn't matter because uh, you know you have to mention about how, it doesn't matter because you, if if time is a big issue, they don't have time and to basically is they don't have time to manage the process of selling and find a property. That's what I mean, yeah. Yeah. But you mentioned about you can help them. That is what your offer is about. So you mentioned about you know how you're going to help them. So they don't have to, you know, put a lot of time and effort into it. They can just, you know, keep doing the work. And uh, if they got a job, they, they don't have to take time from the job. They can uh, keep doing, you are going to manage the whole sales process and manage the process, help them find a new property. I might choose something else on that other one because like, yeah, I want to focus more on the selling and then this stage rather than yeah. the next. Stage. Like I know there's some more important things that I can think of, but yeah, but I'll come back and fix it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so now you, you have you got any story, like you, it doesn't have to be your story, it doesn't have to be your client's story, or could it be someone you know, uh, maybe some other agent, you know, like say, okay, the older, the couple or the people, they don't, they don't think of the time, and but you, do you have any story, but you, well, you know, I but mean, you, you manage guess, it and help them save a lot of time, so they don't have to take a lot of time in that process. Yeah. Maybe I should convert it back to price. Like they always think that now is not a good time because they want to wait for the market to get better or they want more money, and then um, bringing this back to a story where someone waited. Like it's all relevant, it doesn't matter. They sell now, it's gonna be relevant with the next place that they buy. And then if I have a story where someone chose not to sell and some problems of why they didn't sell. <laughs> Is that what you mean? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, in this case, it is internal belief because uh, a price would be the external thing. You can do a mention about in the secret number three. So price will be external uh, belief. And internal belief is uh, themselves. Basically, what about, would it be. Uh, what about someone that um, sold and then they built their brand new home? That's a big trend here. A lot of the local residents want to buy land and build something new. 
So someone who didn't sell and they're still living in their old, outdated home and the other one is living in their nice home or their swimming pool. Uh, okay, so you want, to use, you want to use a case study of someone, you know, who, you know, did not sell because uh, they, they want to have a better price, but end up they miss out and uh, yeah. Yeah, how can I word it? Uh, so, this 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 this, 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 this can this can work you, 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 you can you, you can you can use it you can use it uh okay so uh yeah that's right i'll come and expand on it both families yeah. wanted a modern and new home yeah i'll come back to it family a chose not to yeah so maybe they wait because they're too busy yeah, yeah. because they, they are too busy were too busy thought they didn't have the didn't time. have the money well they didn't have the time could be time and money you can you can mention both you don't have to uh they will relate to internal beneath yeah and stay living Existing home, and I'll come back and polish it. I'll yeah. So basically, when you go back, when you use a person bridge story, you can just go back to the a person bridge script and follow the question there, and spend about a half hour get a you know get a story out. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Yeah. Because you already done the uh, your vehicle story, so the internal in your story it just seems structure, uh, but I, you have to find a different story to do that. Okay. All right. Should okay. I save this or keep going? Yeah, keep going. So what approval do you have to support it? So basically, if you have the family A and the family B, uh, but is it real or is it not real? Oh, uh, well, I, I, right then I was thinking of people here, like real people that, that have, but I might not have sold their home. So I really, I need to think of one that sold. Does it matter? I'll have to, if it, yeah, I've got to try and think. Well, even, even, if, even, even if it is not real, it doesn't matter. Actually, I mean, they can find well, a it's place. real. There's people here that have sold and are now living in a nice home. Okay. Market. Well, if, 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 yeah. if, if, yeah. no, if, if that is real, it is better. Basically, you can just approve and put a case study. Okay. You say yeah. this is the family A. You can, in the proof on a case study, uh, you can put the name or you can put the, uh, the area, like the area of the name. Okay. You can say, okay, the local developer, they develop this one. Put some photo. That will show okay. This is a proof. I mean, this is a, you know, so that's basically, yeah. I'll come up with something, I'll come back yeah. to it. I'll remember. Okay, so secret numbers what are the limiting beneath? Do they have a dress? So let's say people don't have time because too busy, or people don't have money to pay a vendor paid advertising, could be another one. I just remembered someone, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll or oh, I'm I'm not a, I'm not having you know enough money for vendor paid advertising. That could be another one. Actually, there, I know I know there is a guy, and he has a platform. I went to Town Panel to Kickstarter this year, and he come up with a vendor paid advertising. I'm not sure you heard about before. His name is Jason, and not me, but another Jason. He I uh, work in a Queensland. I mean, I can send it to you. Okay, thanks. Because hey, uh, help the people with paid vendor advertising. Uh, I mean, so I guess the vendor has to pay less money for the yeah vendor paid advertising. Yeah, yeah. Uh, later on, I think once I find it, I will let you know. But uh, it is basically uh. You know, it is basically uh, I was an agent, but they come up with some platform like uh, I guess the vendor company are you know, but it's good. But do you have if uh, you know here's one I also suggest to you, you to use. And do you have any other solution to solve the vendor paid advertising problem? Well, yeah, all those different products out there at the moment where they can get the vendor financing. Okay, yeah, so you can mention about it. You can mention about vendor finance and mention about the, uh, is one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, so. 
Well, what about staging? Will there be an opportunity to bring that up? Because where if they spend a little bit of time renovating or yeah, you can mention about it. You can mention about it. If you go back to there, uh, so is it maybe they have an even belief about okay, I don't, I don't have the skill, you know, to do staging and to do the uh, proper styling and I don't decoration. Did you mention about you know how you can help them as well? Yeah, yeah. So I'm looking forward to doing staging videos and putting it in my membership. Yeah. Okay. So move to the next one. Move to the secret number three. And what is the theater secret you will share on the web? Okay, this will be external belief. What I mean is uh, it is external factor that prevent you from, prevent them from moving to a new chopper with a knife. So the external factor could be, okay, uh, is the market right? Because of COVID-19, because of anything, you know, is the market, the right market, because they cannot control is external and also, the external could be uh yeah market condition could be the, the biggest one is external when they sell the property or the external could be uh maybe the the kids are still you know attend a school local high school or local school you know they cannot move because the kids are doing extra thing you know that's external um what other external could be? So just pick one, just pick one. What is the number one external of, you know? Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring it back to price. Because it's okay, price. Good. So you can yeah. just, you can just uh, price put here, uh, remove the keys of school, uh, not one, remove it, remove it right now. Yeah. So basically you have to put a title. What is the third secret you will share on webinar is how to, uh, and it's how to sell, um, how to sell your property. For the highest price now. And like I said, for, you cannot guarantee for the highest price, but you can only can guarantee either for the, you know, for the best price and, uh, you know, in this market, maybe. Okay. Yeah, by, by the way, I, I have just known, though, you know, they, it doesn't matter when they're going to sell, you know, they're always going to get a benefit. Let's say if they, if it is, a, you know, if it is, a, uh, okay, if they sell like a good market, let's say if they sell as a good market, they sell as a high price, if they're going to buy a new property, they're still going to pay a high price as well. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's all relevant. Yeah, because if they sell as a low, you know, you know, like a low price market, let's say it's a downtime, maybe like COVID-19, it's not a good market, like a low price property, they're gonna buy a new property, it's still like a low price. So, you know, it, this is just a people's mindset, you know, it doesn't matter if sell high or no, it, it, it's still like more money, you're gonna pay more money by a new property, so less money, you're gonna pay less money by a new property. You know, really is not no best price. The only way is to sell, you know, the only way is you can mention about it is the best price in any market. But you can you can explain to them use a story. Most people, most people, you know, they got emotional attaches. Always trying to find the good deal, but unfortunately, it doesn't know such a things. But you don't have to mention you don't have to mention about it here. But you can say how to sell the best price in this market. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right now. Uh, okay. You can you can you can write a title. I think the best title you can write down is how to sell how to sell your property for the best price uh, no matter what a market look like without or without worrying about the market condition something yeah without worry about a market condition uh, market condition yeah the market condition Okay, then you move to next. And uh, what is the existing video? So I don't know how to, you know, I think most people, they think, I don't know how to get the best price, you know, for my property. I think that's a limiting belief. Okay, done. Okay, yeah, done. And uh, then there's no problem because you can mention about it because I will help you, you know, get the best price. Your 
Uh, I think the best surprise would be more. I mean, just a high surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Okay, I pass any pretty story. Then you can mention about how, uh, you know, if you got some because you sold a property in the past, or you know someone. Okay, your process to help them get a best surprise. What I mean is, uh, maybe your process to help them uh, stage the home, do the proper styling, clean the garden, or paint the wall. Not you don't have to paint the wall, but you can say, okay, I I actually I help the one of my plastic vendor help them find the local trade people and. Uh, I think I tell a story basically how you help someone, so they so the property looks good, and uh, attract a lot of buyer, you know, for the best price. Okay. So basically, you, have you got a story? We don't have it. Do you have it or? Uh, yeah, there was one that LJ Hooker had before me, and yeah. they took the photos, but they didn't go the extra mile by like clearing yeah. the counters and. And, and it was really basic, like we didn't do much except clear the, anyway, the photos looked so much better and we sold the property for the price they wanted straight away. Okay, good. That's a will be good case study so you can tell that story and to help the people be, you know, break down their external beneath. Yeah, I'll just put the note here so I can remember. I can't remember yeah. the names right now, but I can remember the street. So, yeah, I'll come back to okay, it. Okay, so uh, next one, next. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. So what a proof basically is that you, if you got a photo, you just, you know, have a photo, put a property photo here and say, what's it, you know, what's the old property look like having a, you know, clean, having a paint the wall, then what's a new property? Then you say, okay. Then you can say, okay, the price it helped and sold for. And uh, so that's a proof for that one. Okay. What other limiting belief do they need to address about external belief? Do, do you sell? Okay, price, I think sales in a good market, that's an excellent one. And another one could be and um, sell, you know, sell good market, uh, sell good price. Like the commission, like when they want to negotiate the fee. Yeah, so that's could be another one, limit beneath. They, they they may have wanted to have a limit beneath about, it. okay, how much commission they want to pay for it or how much vendor paid advertising they have to pay for it. Yeah, I don't really want to go down the vendor paid at this stage. I, I, I'll mention it and it's there. Okay, here, here, I, I think here you can dress about this one. I don't know how to uh, how to work out how much commission I should pay agent. Most people don't know it because you just have to remove the how to because they already have a how to oh, yeah. here. Yeah. So you can mention about, okay, and uh, teach them, you can educate them about, okay, why you charge that much. And so you, basically you, you need to go through the process of your offer to say, okay, the value you bring in and then the price they charge. So to justify, okay, why you charge it that much. Then, because the thing about one, your, this presentation is a sales presentation. The agent, now the vendor is going to compare you with other agent for sure, the guarantee. So if you can address the being you say, okay, you can help them only charge as much. You mention about your offer, the value of your offer, and then yeah. they justify it. Okay, move to next. And the uh, name of what you're selling on the webinar. So this basically is the name of your offer. Mayor Rosa Home Selling System. Uh, the ones, well, maybe we should change it to the one-stop shop. Yeah, you can do that. One-stop shop, like a home center system will. Okay, uh, next. Uh, what are you actually selling? So I'm selling, uh, then you need, you, need, you need to tell them what is inside the one-stop shop? What is inside? Uh, so is this where we're going in the offer? Yeah, the woofer. All, all is of inside. the value that they're getting. Okay, yeah, so yeah, when yeah. they sell with me, uh, they are getting. I'll leave the membership to the last thing. You know how they always leave the best for later. Yeah, sure. Okay, membership. So you just, you just, you just write down like a list of things. You just write down and. Yeah, I'll come back to it because I've already taken notes before on my phone. I have to find it, and then um, but this was like the moving boxes. And things like that. Yeah. 
Okay, I saw you take a ton, take a bit of time yeah. right on the list. I mean, uh, a restaurant I, go to, yeah. I go to Boston for a second, take a pay time right on the list. Okay, and thank you. You have a time, you know, I think we're gonna finish. If you can, we can finish because uh, the rest of them will be easy. Story one is the hardest one. Oh, uh, hang on, yeah, what is the time? Oh my goodness. Uh, 12 30. 12 30. Oh, yeah. What time do you have? Do you have an appointment? Or? I'm not talking until 1 30. 1 30. Okay, let's see if we can finish in one o'clock. Okay. Moving okay. Well, I can finish this. You probably want to go to lunch. Have you put a wolf down? Have you seen there? Yeah, so what else am I forgetting? I know this is a lot, but I think yeah. But uh, you're gonna you're gonna find out your warfare later on. So now just briefly, later on I will tell you. I uh, so you just move to Lex. Just uh, move yeah. to Lex question. Yeah? yeah. What is the name of the biggest training? So what is the name of the biggest training? Or so what is the core warfare? So first one, let's say you are real estate agent. I think the core warfare would be your real estate services. That is the core. Of course, other one is the bonuses and the packaging. But what is the call? Your uh, well, real estate services. But now I'm liking the name of the one-stop shop. So yeah, I guess but I just put it put it on the core services because people know what is a call. Well, real estate connector, or should I make it services? Real estate sales, real estate. Yeah, real estate sales, real estate listing service, that's a core for sure. Then you're going to add other bonuses and other you know, what your core. You know, maybe core services is the same as other aging services, but if you add on other bonuses later on, you can differentiate yourself, but it doesn't matter. Just put it here now. Okay. So what is in the big training call your offer? So what is your real estate listing services about? What is included? You can write it from bullet point. So you can write down, okay, it includes help them uh, put on a problem on real estate document. You help them, uh, you know, I think help them do open house, help them, yeah. So basically, most of aging are doing that. So you can just put down, that is what about. So is this, for this question is what the agent does already, nothing different. This is yeah, nothing different, different, nothing different, that is a call. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, I'll just list a whole bunch of standard things. Yeah, just, just list a bunch of standard like in LG hooker aging, like everyone else is doing. You're going to differentiate yourself later on once you package more things into your co author. That's how you do that. Okay. All right. Uh, all right, I'm coming. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what a proof and the case study do you have uh, that it works? What I mean is that uh, you basically, I mean, just say your core offer, how, you know, have you helped someone sold the property with a core offer? What I mean, with our standard of real estate services? Yeah. Yeah. If you got it and just put a case study testimonial here, that's basically what, you know, what it's about. All right. I'll come back to that. Yeah. Okay, next. Uh, this is what other type of people who this work for, and this is what work for. Then you mention about a target audience right now. So who are the people you target? So you can mention about this for people who, of course, from older to new, you have to be more, you have to break them down now. You can say this is work for people who, uh, you know, do the job, wanted to find a cheaper property to buy, or people get divorced, wanted to get, in, you know, wanted to downsize the property, people retired, wanted to, so just list, list a bunch of people and, uh, you know, the life condition, the change from your chapter, then you may, okay, people say, oh, that is me, that is me, that is me, that is me. Okay. All right. Uh, you know, <laughs> I guess it'd be funny, it works for people wanting to divorce. No, it's not. <laughs> There's no one wanting to do oh, it. I'll come back and wait again. Okay. <laughs> no, no one wants. No one wants. No one wants. <laughs> All right, I'll come back and volunteer. All right, let's quickly. So, how should I word it? Let's. This way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who do you want to? Who um, wants to? You know, move. Who wanted to create a better life? I said, who wanted to get 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 out of the problem, like a divorce problem, you know, death problem. Move from there, from there, from there. Um, yeah, move from, yeah. From often, I'll do the, the sad and then the good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. I'll come just, back and just think. Just now, uh, you, you may come back to add more type of the people you want to work for. Yeah. Okay, move to the next one. And what's the number one excuse? People don't get started. How do you answer the objection? So uh, basically it's a standard, you know, offer. So you might be thinking about it. You kind of get started because, uh, uh, you know, okay, here is uh, uh, and basically just I have to handle some bit of objection as well because, uh, you know, you might be thinking about it. You kind of get started, uh, you know, because uh, you are thinking, uh, now is the wrong time. Yeah, now is the wrong time. Or then you have to handle the objection here. Uh, basically, again, good and yours, you can. So you can just tell a story and uh, then to handle the objection here. Okay, next. Uh, how much is that big class? So how much is your like a standard? So this is how much other agent charge in your local area for commission rate? Okay, three point three or three point five. Yeah, uh, that's what they advertise, but then they actually do it lower. But that's their advertised rate. Yeah, that is why. So you okay, you can say okay, this is this is the one I charge. It is the same as other agent charge. And the most of age in the no care who charge the same amount. Of course, later on, you are going to justify this uh, later on. But now you can just say 3.3, 3.5% of the commission. And this is what I, you know, I charge. And also, this is what I, like uh, most of age in charge in no care area. Later on, you are going to add more people, more product into warfare. This become then you still, if you still charge the same amount of money, then people can say, oh, the value is uh, way better than other agent offer. So what a tool do they get to make it a lot easier? So, so if they wanted to get your offer, do you have any tools 
What I mean is, uh, let's say I give you some of the like a home center checklist. That could be tool as well because of what do they need to do before sending the property. So if they got a checklist, that's that's great too. Maybe handy. Or do you have a? I guess I mean and this is, you can get a lot of good tool. You can. Or you got some mortgage like a calculator. If someone wanted to downsize and upsize, then you can go to the, uh, no, you can go to the ATL or not ATO. Actually, I know a website, uh, mortgage calculator. Do you think you can find a mortgage calculator on website? Um, I think I should get my old website back and put it on my website. You don't have to. You don't have to. You can just find. The, you can just do some Google search. I mean, uh, okay. there's so many bunch of websites they do have free like a mortgage calculator, home loan calculator. All right. What you borrow and uh, this what else can I add? What else? Home seller, staging home tick, mortgage mortgage calculator. And uh, could it be a stand duty, you know, calculator, and uh, could it be uh, how maybe home loan, you know, calculator. And uh, I was working with a mortgage broker on his website, I get a bunch of calculators. So what about government grant information? Yeah, government grant information. So this was a, a tool that will help them make it easy. So, you, you know, if the people don't have the home center checking is, they have no idea what should they do? Because, uh, uh, you know, if you got a checking is, they know, sure, tick, tick, tick. This is what I should do when sell property. This is basically additional value you can offer to them. Yeah, okay. Anything else? Any other tool you got? Um, no, but I'll come up with more. Okay, come up with more later on. You can play this right now. You don't have to, this is not your main warfare. This is just additional. Can you come up with any more that I'm missing? Uh, from me, mortgage, stand duty, and... Uh, I I I I oh, oh, can I can find you a good website that will give you a mortgage. It is a mortgage broker's one. He has uh, so many a uh, calculator on the on the website. Actually, I built the website for them. That's why I know it. I'm gonna make this by Debbie Saunders. She's a local that people love. I'll get her to do me some staging home tips. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to email you his website and the calculator so you can if you check your email now. I mean, just going to email you the. Okay, thanks. One. Okay, I just email you the one. Okay. Thank you. Um, All right, I guess. So you can, you, can, you, can, you can add more, you can just go to realestate.com and you can find a bunch of the tool or some calculator or some of the checklist. There's so many of them. I need to of the tool in able them to do. So basically it's this down. Okay, and uh, let's say mortgage calculator allow you to do what and- uh, So do I repeat it again? Uh, you, Do I repeat you, each point or? Yeah, not? you just, no, you just, uh, you repeat it and then you put down the benefit. Okay, what is the benefit of the two and a half checker list and uh, say, okay, how does it? But you yeah. may come back later on. You can you can write down, you can yeah, put your notes here. Yeah. yeah, this was the tool you know, able them to get rid of. So what's the problem? You know, if they don't have home center, you can just repeat it and then mention about what's the problem, you know, that's going to get help them get rid of. So just copy and paste there, two. Okay. Yeah. So and um, move to next. And so, uh, so they can see the value of the tool. So what a problem do the tool store for you? And say, well, this doesn't have to be you. You can say, what's the problem of the tool store for your, uh, maybe for your past vendor or your, for your. If you don't have any, you don't have to mention about it. But if you do, you can mention about it. Yeah, can some of the most, um, the 78 is a lot of information and slides. So some of these, can I be more concise and delete some of them? Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. Now you kind of like go to the next one, just put down, uh, put down notes here. Yeah, put down. Okay, how much time or money you will add to or save for them? Let's say how much checklist, maybe save in a couple of ways, because if the people don't know what to do, 
they may, you know, so people can see the value of the tool. So that is the first offer. I mean, this is the first value adding service or product you give to them. So you can, you start to differentiate yourself from other agent now, just from the deliver number two. All right, so each one I go through them individually. Yeah, each one, each one. Okay, so what's the number in queues? People don't get started. And uh, if you, if the people don't know how to use the tool, people do, okay, I'm not good at computer. Well, you can say, okay, I can help you. Uh, if you do that, well, you know, people say, okay, I do have a checklist, but I don't know any, I trace people. Then you say, I do I kind of refer people to you. Yeah, to basically handle those objection. Yeah. Some people don't know. Some people really don't know how to use some calculator because some of the mortgage calculator, uh, but you need some, you know, you don't have to be a tax accountant, but it, some people, you know, do need to someone to work and so that. Okay. Okay, that's uh, that's a, that's a, yeah. So you you can come back and how much is it to worth? So. You can just you know pre price how much value do you think of the two worth you know how much uh, you can put it you can put a value to say okay this is worth hundred dollars this is two hundred dollars of course maybe if you didn't get it for free but you can see this is a, if the people don't they have to spend a lot of time to find the tool to find the it costs then you just put a price there yeah well these are actually free so I don't want to fluff it up. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. But you can say, okay, this is gonna cost a lot of time to find the tool. Yeah, I know it's free, but it, both people, they can Google search for it, but it takes a lot of time for them to find okay, which one is the right one. And you've done the work and still put a price. You don't, you still put a price. You know, you don't, you know, you don't have to put a time. Put a price is the best. Uh, can I try a new strategy? Cause I don't wanna be one of those ones like this is this and this is this. People see right through it, especially if it's free public information. So okay, that's all right. You, 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 know, you, 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 know, you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to put a, put a price for each one. You can do the pre price for, let's say the whole yeah. value, you can, the value of the whole thing may be value for your, like for, you know, a thousand dollars total value. It is a time. Most people, most people don't have time to find a way tool. It's not because the, the tool it costs money. They just don't have enough time. Yeah. Okay. Then okay. What do they get? That that is a that is a second bonus says you offer to them. What do they get? Approving the vehicle work and it will work for them. So basically, you have to break down your offer right now. So inside your offer, what do they get? Yeah. Uh, I wrote it all down there. Can I go back and copy and paste it? Uh, no, you don't have to go back. You can just write down. You can just right. write down. Uh, so it was going to be um, moving boxes. Yeah, so that's one. And I need to find out one conveyancer in my area said it's okay and I can give the free conveyancing and my other conveyancer said, no, that's against the law, but I really want to do it now to give them free conveyancing well if you if you, if one of the conveyance and they say yes then you can do it no problem yeah but i don't want her to get in trouble or me get in trouble if it is if the other one's right and we can't do yeah. it um anyway so what do you think just just write down just write down everything in your core warfare yeah what i want to do is the moving boxes the conveyancing um local restaurant vouchers i want to do the cleaning free cleaning but only two hours and I have to be very careful because I don't want to be the last one that goes in after two hours and then it's not cleaned properly and then okay yeah like, oh, so just put, just put it down I mean you in your webinar because you got a two and a half hours in two weeks being so you can you know yeah. in detail okay. but I put it down as a good point um, and the gardening I'll give them a one hour yeah and then I'll yep they just put down everything you offer, just put it down as much as they can. Yeah. What else can you think of that other people are doing? Yeah, moving boxes, convenience and local restaurant, cleaning, gardening, and uh, 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 membership. Okay, you have to think about, okay, you help them move in your chapter of their life. So you have to, you know, in your mind, you got a picture, you say, okay, if they want to move in your chapter of life, what else they need? It?
Definitely, they do need a they do need a cleaning, they do need a gardening, they do need a convincing, they do need a booing boxing. And what what else they need it when the booth and you chop it off their life? Uh, so in the free membership, there'll be so many things alone. Like, yeah, just a breakdown. Just a breakdown. Yeah. What, what is that? What is that? Uh, break down everything you can offer right now. You can add it later on, no problem. But everything you can offer right now. Yeah. I have to get reconnected because somewhere along the line, I had someone who helped with moving services. I have to find that who that is again. Yeah. Okay. I can. I can come back to this. Do you know? Again. Do you know any? Do you know any? Like, do you know any financial planner you can partner with? Yes. Yeah, financial planner could be a really good one because uh, whenever people like sell the property, buy your property. They, they either need a tax accountant or financial planner guarantee because their finance is at that time is a bit messy and they do need someone to sort out for them. Okay, so financial planning and a um, finance consultation with a broker. Yeah, yeah. Not, not with you, with someone else. You yeah, can... yeah, not with me, with someone <laughs> else. Yeah. A financial planner, tax accountant could be one. Another one could be a mortgage broker that really, really, because they're going to buy on your property guarantee they can need a mortgage broker. Well, that's what I meant by that, so I'll change it. And they may also need a buyer's agent. They may or may not, but if you do know some other agent, you can refer to them. Yeah. I mean, in other area, maybe in your yeah. neighborhood of suburb, yeah. Yeah, awesome. So this is good enough because this people can say, oh, your offer uh, is a lot more yeah. than most of uh, aging offer. So next, go to the next one. Okay, what is the pain and the cost? So, yeah. Yeah, so what is the pain and the cost? I had a ghost though. So what what do you have the guns though to get it over the offer? Maybe the time and effort you put into it to negotiate it, to build a partnership and to, you know, so people can say this is a valuable because uh, they can, yeah, sure, they can find these people, but it's going to take a lot of time, effort, but you already spend a ton of effort. So this is another value adding service you, you give to them. Okay. Yeah, but you don't. But you can write down. But you you ha, you won't have to because I'm giving you as my as a bonuses. My life's But it doesn't doesn't really flow because I have to go through it. So basically, it goes through the struggle and uh, maybe the. So because basically you, you just have to fill the blank. That's that's what it's about. You can add one more sentence, but you try to follow the formula that put it there in a script. Put it there, it does work. Like that, yeah, yeah, good. And uh, but you won't have to. I'm going to give you as bonuses, mm -hmm. or I'm going to give you for free, okay? Yeah, okay. So, uh, 
or you, you have to write down the whole sentence because uh, they. Uh, well, I can come back to it. I've got. I it come back to it because uh, it doesn't really flow that well. Okay, so come back. and I'll move to the next question. Question fifty-two. Okay. And how will this make it easier and faster for them to get a result? This is gonna help make it easier and faster for you too. Just mention about it and. Uh, you know, each one, I think you have to copy and paste each one to say what is the benefit for each one. All right. Okay. So each one, the benefit. Yeah. yeah. So I'll if you go back, notes. yeah, take one, each one. Yeah. Okay. So basically you have to think about like when, like in your, in your core offer, you got so many products and services. You just have to say, okay, the benefit for this product, the benefit for this services. And uh, so people can say, oh, this is a benefit, this is a benefit, this is a benefit, this is a benefit. So people can picture, okay, they got so many benefits, then your the value is, uh, uh, well, just think about like a phone, like a, when Steve Jobs sells the iPhone and he's so smart. And uh, if you watch the TV commercial, he did this one. He said, you are not gonna get a phone, you are gonna get a phone and you are gonna get a 1,000 song in your pocket. You also gonna get a internet bristle communication devices. So he mentioned about a phone is like a three product. So the benefit is you're not gonna get a phone, make a phone call like a traditional phone. And you also gonna get iPod, like a, you get iTunes and they got a song, you can listen to music as MP3. And you also have an internet, you know? So people can say, oh, that is a, so many benefits for the phone is like three product put into one. That's, what, that's how smart and nice Steve Jobs launched the iPhone. Yeah, so what should yeah. I do? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what you can do. You If you can package your offer like what Steve Jobs packaging the iPhone. iPhone is a offer, it's not a phone. Yeah. You know, traditional phone, you can only can make a phone call. But uh, Steve Jobs is the first uh, marketer who will figure out, put in the internet, put in the iPod and put in everything you know, packed into a phone. Yeah, but it, but that's it a really smart marketing strategy. What is the number one cue is why people don't get started and with this, how do you answer this? So, you know, what's the reason why, you know, people don't uh, relate to the vehicle? So what is the reason why, you know, people don't, uh, let's say people don't, uh, do you have, a, this support could be another objection they've got. You already talked about time, talked about money, what else? You can't choose Mel Rosamond because you are loyal because you think you're loyal to another region or there is a better deal somewhere else. Uh, you may be thinking about it, you kind of, you know, yeah, you could be mentioning about that here. You can't. You can't choose Rosamond because, uh, you know, because you are loyal to other aging or because other aging help your, help your family sort of properly so you trust the aging or well, something like that. But that's not true because, uh, you know, because other agents don't have the, you know, they don't have the warfare you've got, you know. That's not an issue because I have packaged everything you need and this is not available anywhere else. Okay, so that's good. And um, move to question 54. How much is that worth? So let's say, uh, okay, this mention about is not a warfare anymore. It is a deliverable number three. What yeah, the so, number three so, is basically it is all, uh, you talk about the value adding stuff. The sense you add, uh, you add into it, uh, what's the total value of the whole thing? Um, I'll come up with it later, I'll fix it later. Yeah, fix it down. Huh? Maybe just put $10,000 out there if you feel comfortable. Yeah, it's going to be hard to calculate it because it's a commission. Um, yeah, yeah, that's all right. But you can you can just put in the value you believe the value you know yeah. how much is gonna worth to the one and uh, move to the next one. Uh, what do they get? That'll remove the main internal source. So this one, okay. So this one, it is uh, uh, it is in it is your 
this is still your warfare for sure, but it is a warfare to help them. Okay, I just I mentioned now you have a core warfare, which is a traditional like a real estate agent services. Then you got your, and uh, then you got your, uh, okay, then you got your, okay, this one, this one, it is a part of your warfare, but it is another value adding service or product you can package into a warfare to help them get rid of the internal struggle. The internal struggle, you think about it, is they, uh, I think the internal struggle we work out is they, they believe they don't have enough time, you know, to, to sell and uh, so do you have any, uh, if they don't have enough time to sell, do you have any process? Maybe like a, a sense could be like, a, maybe you, uh, you know, you have a, let's say you have a checklist or you have a, a process and to help them work with them still from, let's say, renovate a property to this one. So you help them work through that. Uh, like that. The Mel Rosamond real estate process helps you move from your old to your new by gifting you all the tools you need for a smooth and easy process. Okay, okay I give you, I, I'm going to send you an email. If you can check your email, I'm going to send you another one. And okay. uh, this wall, this is a <coughs> to help you come out like a steps to sell your home. No, I send you another email. Check your email now. Yeah, the second email I sent it to you. Yeah, I'm just having a look now. Yeah, so steps to sending your property. So basically, you can just, you know, right. get, you can just get this one as a guy. Then when you go into maybe on your webinar, then you're gonna talk about it and you have a process. This is step number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and or eleven to help them from okay, from prepare for sale to become settlement for the buyer. Your process, then you yeah. So on your presentation, when this presentation, then you can just print it out. You can say, okay, step number one, number two, number three, four, five to 11. This is, I need to help it go. So, so you don't have to do anything. What, you know, so you, so people say, okay, you're going to do a lot of work for them. Okay, go to question uh, 56. So do I put all of that in there? Like your email? Uh, well, well, basically you don't have to put a whole article there. But the end <laughs> is, uh, you may just put that step, like the step you can help the people go away. This is my process. Okay. Yeah, so people say, okay, so okay, people will think about, okay, yeah, I don't have to put so much time. I'm so busy, but a male is gonna help me, you know, do a lot of the work. Okay, so question <coughs> six, if you move to the next one. Uh, sorry, I've just, something happened to my page. I've got to, yeah, here we go. Okay. Okay, what is a pain and a cost for you to create this? So you basically, you just mentioned about it, you know, for you, if you wanted to, uh, you know, if the people wanted to, you know, go through the process by themselves, like prepare, because you, you can just say, you have to go through a lot of the training, <laughs> the experience, a lot of the uh, time. Sorry, Jason, I have to get a drink of water every two seconds. Okay. <laughs> Let's see.
Mm. Okay, I just charge my battery, but let's go back. Uh, Okay, so. So on these ones where it says I had to go through and it's got the face, I needed to type it and put it in. Yeah, so basically you just say, okay, you, you type down, you know, what do you have gone through? You gone through the license, the training, real estate, you know, certification. Maybe you gone through the work experience with the LG hooker and uh, you know, so basically talk about what have you gone the way, so you got the process. I, I, tell, I tell you a funny story about this. I mean, I tell you a really funny story. You may, you may think because for this one, you may think it's normal. You know, every agent has a gun, so a license. There is a one of the marketing strategy about this. And uh, is one of the marketing strategy, I think I found out, actually is a beer company. And uh, they are trying to figure out, you know, how they can, you know, stand out from the market competition. So there's one day, there's a marketer and uh, who went to the uh, beer factory. And uh, so the, the owner of the beer uh, company just took that, okay, say, what, how are we going to, you know, manufacture a beer, you know, when you put yeast and how long take and the process, procedure. And the marketing consultant, so wow, that's so complicated. That's a lot of effort. And you put it into it, produce a bottle of beer. Of course, the owner of the beer company, he thought about, you know, public, you know, know this. He thought about, you know, every, every, you know, every manufacturer, you know, produce a beer like that way. So marketing consultant thought about it. How about, you know, we took out like a video and we uh, took out like a documentary to put it say, okay, the process, how you do beer. And then we put it on the, you know, TV commercial. So the, the beer company thought, you know, is that gonna be good? Because uh, most of the beer companies that will manufacture beer like this. Is that process is complicated, but uh, everyone doing this. So the marketing consultant just said, you know, trust me, it's gonna work. So it put it on a TV commercial. And then uh, the audience thought, wow, they thought about it, you know, they produce the best have a beer because look at the process is so complicated, you know? Put the yeast and uh, how much how long it takes and uh, what's the temperature and uh, blah 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 blah, and then the actually the beer company become the become one of the top you know brand in that country, <laughs> just for because of strategy. But it, they're doing nothing different because everyone manufactured beer a lot of way. But the only thing they did is uh, they just took a documentary and uh, record the process of how they manufacture beer. But everyone else is doing beer that way. <laughs> and, the, and the public thought about, oh, the company must be really good at it, you know? We can look at it, how they do it, the, the, the process it goes through. But I, just like, just like you know, most of the vendors thought about, okay, you know, real estate agent, you may thought about it, you know, it's, in, every agent has a qualification, every agent has an experience, but it, most of the homeowner, if they know, oh, this is a license we've gone, so this is a, you know, time, they will, just in the mind, they will they will change the perception. Oh, that's a lot of time and effort. You must be really good. I know it sounds it sounds really, one, but it, this is because if you don't tell the people that what you've gone through, it just like your know, passing the bridge story. People will not. It. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to explain to so you. Should I just sum it up like and put the whole little bit? Like I had to go through living yeah. in many times before investing in property, buying my own property, then LJ Hooker Langston. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can, you, you, you know, this don't have to, you know, go through the whole thing, but you can go through just for the- to Summarize it, yeah. Summarize it. And, but, but the point I want to mention to you is you do need to spend a bit of time going through the detail. I mean, you may not want to go into detail, but the detail actually, it, it create a context. What I mean is, uh, if you just put a content, the content is a, is a, uh, you know, it is a, okay, I give you an idea. You, you understand what I mean in this one. Let's say if, how much will, 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 will you pay just for a face mask? Let's say 2019, how much? How much do you want to pay? If I sell you as a, like I say, $5, do you want to buy a face mask for $5? Just a standard, like 
normal face mask, how much you want to pay for it? Yeah, so yeah, I want to pay standard, but is this where we're going? Like, pay more, get better value, better quality. Yeah, yeah, sure. But I'm going to say 2019, I'm talking about 2019. Last oh, year. 2019, what would I pay for a face mask? Yeah, how much? $2. Okay. I, I think uh, five dollars. Do you want to pay for five dollars? Okay, five. <laughs> yeah, do, do you do you want to pay? Uh, if I sell you face mask for five dollars, do you want to pay for five dollars? Like now, you mean? No, not now. Two thousand nineteen. Oh. Um. <clears throat> yeah, but what do you mean? Like, if I knew we could buy for two dollars, the same thing. Sorry. Yeah, I'm talking about two thousand nineteen. Let's say you. Yeah. Okay, five dollars. I'll pay five dollars for the face mask. Okay, let's say, how about $10? I sell you as a $10 face mask in 2019, I'm told last year. Do you, do, you, do you want to pay $10 for a face mask? Back then, no. No, how about $20? No. <clears throat> how about like $50? No. How about I give you a scenario now? I say, okay, now it is uh, uh, March of 2020, and now the COVID-19 is the worst time, and, uh, uh, you know, the case, has been detected is over 10,000 in the news as well. I mean, uh, the face mask basically run out. You go to chemist, you cannot buy anything. You know, if you go to eBay, Amazon, the face mask is $500 per face mask. So now I say there's a, I got only, I, the only face mask I got left, I got additional one, but I have only one left. There are about like 100 people are waiting to buy it. And uh, I bought it, you know, for, let's say I bought it for $5, but I, I'm gonna sell you as a line. This is a fifty dollar. Do you wanna buy it? Yeah, you can buy it. So, so that means I, I, the reason why I can tell you that one is that the contest, when the content means nothing without a context, you have to have a context which is a background. Then you put your content into it. People will say it's valuable. Like, yeah, got it. That's why if you just say, okay, I got a, you know, I got a real estate license, I can help sell property, it means nothing. But if you say, I go to the jewelry, I go to the struggle, I go to the pain, use a story, people say, oh, that's how much you need to go so away to, to become a real estate agent. That's how much you go so away to get experience. People will think it's valuable. I mean, this is a human psychology. That's just basically how human brain works. Because it is too easy, people just don't value enough. If it is too hard and the people are valuing. Okay, I got it now. Thank you. Okay, well, let's move to question 57 and then we're going to almost finish. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, so how will this make it easier and faster for you to get a result? So basically, uh, you mentioned about the, uh, you know, your I think like mention about your experience, mention about this one, so you can say, okay, this is going to help you fast and easy because you don't have to go through the trial and error. A lot of the people may, if they don't, if you don't tell them that, people will say, okay, a lot of people now they are thinking about for sale by themselves, like for sale by owner, so they're going to sell property by themselves because they just don't see the value of aging. So you have to, you know, you have to explain to them what the value you're going to bring to them because they. It's going to help you sell easier, faster, you know, because you don't have to sell property by yourself or you don't have to go through that process to sell property for yourself and leave the market, leave the property for, on the market for too long. Okay, next question 58. And what is the number one excuse that people don't get started? And how do you answer that? You might be thinking you cannot use this. Uh, what I mean is that you might be thinking, you know, uh, you, uh, well, in this case, I'm talking about in this case, because the people, they have objection means that they, you know, they, they, they are too busy and to sell the property. And so you may think about it, you might be thinking you cannot, you, you know, you, you still have, you're still too busy. So you may want to explain a bit more and to say, okay, how? Uh, well, can I use here like that they might be choosing the other agent? Oh, this is internal. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. internal, internal. So basically, they're too busy, you know, to sell and buy a property. Mm -hmm. uh, 
well, you hear you, you can mention about it. You may be, you might be thinking, oh, you cannot, you know, you still don't have time to buy a property, you know? Because you don't have time to find a new property to buy. You mentioned about, okay, you can help them find a buyer's agent. So to help them find a new property. Does it make it that you don't have time to sell now? Uh, now maybe, is not the right time? Because you are ready, you are ready addressing, addressing the issue. You have not time to sell right now. You can, you can do here and uh, uh, what's that number in case people don't get started, how to answer that. So yeah, you can say you don't have time to sell right now. This is not true because uh, well, you don't have time to sell and find a new property right now. Um, because I do everything for you. Yeah, good. Okay, question uh, 59 and uh, how much you got worth. So basically, you can mention about it, okay, how much you paid for real estate license and how much, uh, you know, you paid to join LG Hooker and how much the money, the experience, the, this one, this one, this one is a tangible cost. So people can see as well. People can see the money and the training as a coaching and the franchise fee and the blah, blah, blah. All right, it's, wow, I've never thought to put this down. Okay, so go to question 16 and then you say, okay, what do they get to eliminate what is thought as external block? So this one external struggle, it is a uh, market condition. I think that's what I mentioned about it. So uh, market condition. So basically uh, that is external struggle. So what do they get to eliminate the what is that as external roadblock? So, then you have to help them, you know, figure out how you can help them sell the best price regard of the market condition. So here, I think you just have to explain, you know, you just have to, I think here is every simple, it's not really complicated. You just have to explain if they sell as a high price, they are gonna buy a new property as a high price. Yeah. If they sell as a new price, they're gonna buy a property as a low price. So they're not gonna get a better deal. I mean, basically when I, well, you know, Whenever they want to sell, you know, they, they, for sure they, they get more money, but they're going to buy a property, they're going to pay more money because the market is like that. Okay. Yeah, so that's pretty much what it was the pain and the cost for you to create this. Basically, uh, you may mention about your research you've done. So, of course, you need a backup as a research as well. You may need to get some research from real estate accounts. Say, if the people uh, sell at a high price, then they buy a property on a neighborhood. That's the, that's the price they get. Then to say, okay, actually the person doesn't really get a really good deal. You may have the poor research case study, you know, to, to, to show them, to prove them about that. I mean, it's every easy. You can just go to real estate or contact you and find, find the like a past sales record, which is a, a history, you know, so many of them. You can say, okay, the price that people sell and the people buy it, they don't really get a really good deal. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, how will it make it easier for you fast to get a result? So this is going to make it easier and faster for you to. So basically, if you got a case study, then you can just say if some people, you know, really analytical is okay. This is going to faster, going to help you save time to do research. Because if the people say, okay, I want to sell better price, this is a lot of time to do research and market research. So you say, okay, I already done the research because that is your job for sure. You have to do it. Then people don't have to go through the research. It takes a lot of time as well. It takes a lot of time to do research. You know, I think I don't really enjoy the research. You know, I think, I think it's really waste time. If you if you can really fix your time, if it's for people, you try to, try to, you know, find the best time sell a little bit more price, I think it's, you know, is a is a poor people mindset. Rich people they just sell right now. Then they focus on how to make more money. That's a rich people mindset. Yeah, they got a better. They got so many other things to do, and they try to spend a, a 
do a lot of research to find out is the best market. You know, it is it is a waste time. You know, move the next one. Uh, question yeah, what's the number one excuse people don't get started and how do you answer that? You might be thinking about it, you cannot. Um, yeah, maybe people say okay, I they, they cannot trust the research and the case study. And uh, so you just have to say, okay, where the case study come from? It must be come from some authority, like a real estate account that you RP data. Yeah, so people say, okay, the research is true, is a fact. They cannot argue much. I don't, I don't think you're gonna reach many people like this, unless people are really analytical, people are really, but not too many people like this. I think, I don't think, yeah, I don't think you have to go in uh, to meet people, but I, I think that's one if they do have it. And uh, question 64, how much it cost? So let's say it basically is a research and uh, say, okay, you can put a price here. You say, take a lot of time, effort. You can put a say maybe, well, well, you have to pay RP data, you know, because you have to use RP data to research. And then you say, okay, that's how much the value for is to put a price for this. Because RP data costs money as well. People have to pay RP data software to, yeah. Okay. okay, let's move to question 64 and uh, rest of them will be really easy now. Basically it's just a package and uh, so Okay. And so how much is it, what is selling total? So basically you have to go back everything you, the price, then you just put the total value. Yeah, so put everything here and the total value, everything plus the internal, external and uh, value adding bonuses and your everything here and the total price. Yeah, it's gonna be so hard to, um, to be, because it's not a fixed fee, because I have to add commission per property. So how do I present that, summarize yeah. it? So, okay, let me, uh, I would suggest you the total value should be double of the, or triple of the commission you charge. So people can justify it. And so you just put a price, if you charge, if the, you know, if the, depends on what is the average price of the property selling, by the way. Uh, say 450,000. So how much commission do you get from that? Uh, and the, the average is not real here because it's so varied that um, let's just say- I'm talking average, average. Yeah, let's just say if it was 400, uh, well, at the moment I've only been charging 2.8% of 450,000. So yeah, 12,000 average. Okay, 12,000. So if you only make sure you're secure, make sure, you know, the property, you know, that. so your, the total value of your offer should be double or triple. You, you can put a triple of the commission you charge. Yeah. So um, I'll just go you know, back to the 38 that I originally had. Okay, sure, yeah. So, uh, so basically people can say, okay, you charge as much, but total value you offer is way more. So go to question 66. Uh, what is the regular price you sell and for on the website? So basically, uh, here, you have to give a bit of urgency. What I mean is, uh, let's say you only can give them the price and, uh, you know, for, I mean, I mean, this one, you can say, okay, this is for only, uh, only for the people who, you know, who wanted to commit right now, because you, on the webinar, you want to take the people who want to sell right now. You don't want to, so you say, you, because your time is limited, you only can work this number of people. Maybe you say, you only can work for, on the website, you may sell, no, not free. The regular price. Uh, no, this is on the website. No, the rig, not on the website. Basically, yeah, the regular price is on your website. So on your real estate connector, so regular price could be, uh, no, not, not this one. No, not this one. So regular price is, uh, uh, could be double of your commission if you put it down there. Well, no, you charge 28%, okay. you can put it say, okay, uh, you can say the regular price could be let's say four percent of the commission. Uh, just a bit more about what you real charge. Yeah, so usually two point eight or three percent. But here, 
the regular price could be, let's say, charge it and put it, put it down $15,000. Later on, you're going to change it $15,000. You can say that is a that is what it's what you can put a commission rate. Yeah, regular price. Your regular your regular commission rate, let's say it could be three point eight. Yeah, a four percent or could it be three point eight percent. Yeah. Okay, then go to the next one. And why are you doing the dropping the price? So basically. To make sure they get a deal, this is basically some psychology, like the urgency. So, uh, you say, okay, now I I'm, I give you be a don't call discount, but you can say, okay, I I give you the the best deal. I mean, the deal is I uh, now you only need to pay. So, what do you real? Uh, I give you discount today because I uh, because uh, you know because uh, I don't know you had you had to find a reason. The reason you you can say. Uh, you know, because uh, you, uh, you know, because you just come out with a woofer and the woofer is new. And uh, so you want to give the best deal for the people who, yeah, who are early burn or something. Yeah, because then your woofer come out, you want to give the best people who, you know, you know, yeah, who want to take a special woofer. Okay, move to... Next one, and uh, yeah. Okay, so what's the price for you selling and they're buying today? So what I mean is that this is a real commission you charge. How much your commission you charge right now? 3.5. Okay, then just put it here. That's a real one you charge. Yeah. Okay, company the final statement. So if you work at this, and so basically, you have to take one of the biggest, most valuable thing, put it here. Then you should say, to get people to say, okay, think, if that works, 3.5% 3, 3 commission. I think the biggest, most profitable thing you can take out would be, let's say if you can just take out a, from one of the things from your woofer, what is the most valuable the product in your woofer, by the way? Uh, that could be your- The convincing is the most valuable. Convincing, how much convincing you can help them save? $1,600. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so put it here and what else? What else that is valuable? You, it is tangible as well. Like a coin, can how, how about the um, convincing is good? Yeah, for sure. How about the financial planner and the tax accountant? I think a financial planner, you can help them save your money if you find a good financial planner for them. What do they charge an hour? 200? Yeah, I don't know. A buyer's aging is the most profitable one because a buyer's aging pretty much gets the same, same amount of commission as a real estate agent. So if you can help them, if you can help them find a buyer's agent and the buyer's agent can help them buy a really good home, can help them save a lot of money. But I, but I, just here is a bit of, uh, you know, you just have to come out of the figure because I don't really know. Yeah, can help them start to save like a 20 or 30 grand. So that's, how do you, if you take the buyer's agent as example here, yeah, you can copy financial planner and the mortgage broker and copy this, copy buyer's agent, copy all three of them. I'll just copy all of them for now. Okay. Yeah, copy all of them for now. What are we doing? Buyer's agent. Yeah, if what this deal was help you do buyer's agent, and the buyer's agent can help you buy a property, save your this money, then would it be worth a commission? And if this one can do was the. And a pretty convincing or pretty tax accountant, financial plan, and put them here as well. So people can say, okay, this is a total value. You can help them save or help them. Yeah, so people can really say the value you bring to them. Did you say tax accountant? Yeah, tax accountant. Tax accountant can be valuable. You can help them find a good tax accountant. They can pay less tax. Oh, and uh, definitely uh, help us. I can't give him a tax account until I get my tax affairs in place. I would be hypocrite. Okay, you, if you cannot offer right now, you don't have to, but if you can, you just offer. Okay, quote question 17. Okay. And uh, so, if what is a deed, so then you just say, uh, Do you have any other? I think the first one is a bias agent. If you go back, do I have to go back or? 
Now you don't have to go back. I think now you just mention about what other service, you know, if, if what this data was help you, maybe and the professional trades people will help you make sure your property looks good and it will help you, you know, so your property can sell as a you know best price. Would that be worth saying? Yeah. So basically here you justify the commission you charge. Why you charge that much? Okay, then question 71. Then if what this was, then you have to break down the offer. If they what this was, maybe help them. Uh, what else? Help them do the marketing. Let's help them try to the best buyer. Will help them do the online marketing. Will help them to you know put on website.com.au, domain.com.au, open house. Not just open house, maybe some some of the other strategy you got like help them uh, track a lot of buyer. So the buyer come here and uh, everyone you create a kind of the urgency for the buyer then to get a buyer to pay the best price. So can you still say my screen? What is the number? Yeah, I can see it. What is the number one bonus that create urgency? So what is the number one bonus? The number one bonus is what is something they wanted the most, do you think? Convincing? Is that what they want? Yeah, convincing. Okay. So if that one, so you can convince that is a number one bonus put here, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so put it here. And what was the pain and the cost for you to create a bonus? So, you know, maybe a time effort you put into it to help you, to help them find the convince and negotiate the deal. It does take time to find a good convince and then negotiate the deal as well, by the way. Yeah, but you don't you won't have to because I'm gonna give you for free. Okay, go to question 74. How is bonus make it easy? And so this is gonna help you easy because uh, I don't know, convince, I just mentioned about what convince and what's the benefit of using a good convince then. Okay, question uh, 75, and what's the number on queues? People don't get it started. So, uh, I mean, I'm not sure if they have any. You might be thinking about you cannot use a convincer because you got your own convincer. Well, yeah, well, that could be a reason because some people do know a convincer. They have the, but you can mention about it. You know, this is the best convincer you find it, and then they can get the deal. Some people do have a loyalty to their own convincing as well. So you can handle the objection. Okay, yeah, so move to next one, 76. And how much the number one bonus? So have a good convincing or how much do you think that works for them? Um. I think she charges sixteen hundred dollars usually. Okay, do I put it there? Actually, I think she only charges twelve, and I'm buying it for eleven. But other conveyances, solicitors charge sixteen hundred. Yeah. By the way, just just so just put it here as a as a as a price. If that's yeah, the price. Sixteen hundred. Okay. Then uh, go next. How fast can they expect the results? So you will see the real result. So basically, is uh, the time frame not to get a convincer. By the way, is the time frame of selling the property. So how long do you think they're going to move to a new chapter of the night? I mean, a roughly time for not exactly, but it's... Yeah, I want to leave time out only because I don't want to attract negative energy where it's unnecessary because in Sydney or Melbourne, properties sell within 12 weeks, pretty much. Okay, the best way, the, the, the best way to find out is uh, 
the best way to find out if you go to realestate.com.au or domain.com.au, find the average day on the market. All right, average day is three months. Yeah, so just put it there, no problem. Then go to the next one. Okay. And what is the special URL? So and this one, you don't have to get special URL now, but here you have a call to action. So uh, you can say if they are, it's why you can just put your mobile phone number there. What is a mobile? Oh, this is where I want to have the buy now link. I want to like line it all yeah, up. Yeah, you can. And then I'm going to put um, it in part. People can go to like, you, well, you can put a URL for the appointment, your calendar. Yeah. Do, you have a, do you have a calendar there? No, no, no. Remember I told you I want to be the first agent that locks them in where I've got a buy now button. And then Yeah, sure. You can You can do that for sure. You can put a URL of the buy now button. Yeah. You may need to have a... The buy now button. Of course, they're not going to transfer not that much money to you, yeah? Uh, no, I'm going to have them uh, transfer and pay for um, any other add-ons. So this part will be free, but then if they want to upgrade to a for sale signboard, $200, do they want to? Okay, okay, I got to mean. So here, what you can do, you can get a PayPal link. Do, do you know how to use a PayPal? Yes. Yeah, go to PayPal and create a, like a PayPal like I use a PayPal to get a payment, uh, you know, page. So use a PayPal link, and then people can just go to a PayPal and pay a couple hundred dollars to secure the spot. Well, remember how I want the funnel? Like I want to have it as a funnel where it's like the upgrade. So buy now, you get your pay, and you get the signboard. Then if you want, yeah, you can, you can, you can, you can. They can get it from PayPal. You can do that on PayPal. I mean, oh yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I mean, show you how to do it next time. But I, on PayPal, definitely get a, any YouTube tutorial on PayPal yeah. how to do that. Okay. Okay. Go to the go to the next. You cannot go next up. Now you save. Go to the save button. The save button. Yeah. Save first. So save as a perfect webinar funnel. Yeah. Okay, and uh, save it, then you build. Create a build button, build, yeah. And uh, then you choose a P, you don't have to, so when you build, I tell you, I explain to you, essentially, uh, you, okay, when you build, it doesn't just give you the PowerPoint presentation. Oh shit, I've got to go, sorry. I'm not doing it fair. I've got an appointment and I forgot about it. I have to go now. Okay, go now. So now you can see when you build, you got to move your, not just, a, not just a PBT, you got you to gotta like weigh your sales and editor, you got to, you know, push right. you. Tell gotta, me what to do, I've got to go. Do I save it as work? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you can, you save already, so you don't have to build it right now. You can just, you know, close it. And next time you can just build it and the PBT presentation right. come out. That's all, yeah, bye. Sorry, I have to go right now because I'm seven minutes late. Okay, bye. Thank you so much, Jason. Thanks, bye.